It was uh, very powerful. I think I'm I'm realizing that you know there are so many ways that you know if you if you embrace something uh, and you go on this journey of self discovery, there are many many paths, right? And I think my Buddhist practice was one of those, and um, I started it at a time when I again in, you know it was a time when I didn't really see the light. And I, and I know I knew my friend who was also practicing and she's still practicing. She's amazing uh, that she also has her own challenges, but somehow she sees them with so much wisdom. And I was like, dude, teach me this thing because I, I, I'm like, I ran out of resources and um, it was so funny. Like she, she taught me the chanting. And I think normally people, when they start this Buddhist chanting, they do 10 minutes a day. I was doing two hours a day. I was driving my, probably my flatmate crazy at the time, but I, I was just like, all I knew, and now I understand it, you know, if I look back why it was so powerful and why I could create all the things that I created from that, because all I knew is that I can have a better life and I can create it for myself. And I think, that's one of the most amazing benefits of this Buddhist practice as well, is that you realize that, you know, no external forces will create or give you the, the results, but you've got it inside of you. And I, I, I know that even as a little kid, I wanted, I wanted to go to church because I was seeking, you know, but then I also realized that God doesn't help me. And maybe there's that inner God that's helping me because when I was in big trouble, I could somehow, you know, save myself or sort things out. And and I guess this, um, my Buddhist practice was really helping at that time. And especially, you know, it was eight years that I was practicing it. It was a, it was a long time. It was really keeping me accountable for my behaviors, my thoughts, my creations. And uh, very soon after I was chanting, I, I really wanted to leave RBS and... Um, and I wanted to finish my nutrition course, which I actually stopped uh, for six months. And I think within two weeks, I got two offers uh, from a different bank. And um, and it just worked out amazingly. And I ended up going on an awesome trip to Goa with my friend before I even had time to do that. I finished my nutrition course. So, you know, my and I started to see that actually me as a human being I have an impact on people and I can inspire people and the more you know the more I was able to become a master of my life the more I was inspiring others and then I was even um, leading little groups uh, local groups um, in the Buddhist practice so it was a fun journey and we organized a lot of events and I think it was nice also to to you know create community and feel like belonging but in a way it's funny as well because you yeah it's funny to be a banker buddhist and it's funny to be a a banker who does yoga and then it's funny to be a yoga who's a banker. Do, do you know what I mean? So it's I, I never quite fit, and that's okay. I think I'm. I also learned to understand that I don't have to, you know, and it's cool actually not to. Um, and it's okay to be just authentic and do the things that serve me. 